Hi all, welcome to round eight of the 46 World Teams Championships. So, um, Bermuda Bowl uh, standings after round eight. Uh, Switzerland in the lead. Uh, China in eighth position. Um, Venice Cup, Poland in the lead. China in eighth position. <laughs> Dior, Dorsey, Dorsey Trophy, um, Belgium first. Uh, Argentina in eighth position. And the Wuhan Cup, Chinese tai Taipei, first position, and Poland in eighth. Okay, still a long way to go. We're not even halfway, so about um, this will be about a third of the way, uh, just slightly over a third of the way, so a lot to go. Um, okay, so let's look at the boards. So board 17, uh, 10, 11, um, 14. Looks like I'd open this two no trumps. Pass. Uh, huh. The miners. Now, this is an interesting one. Okay. So I can't remember how the bidding went. Oh, yeah. Two no trumps. You might bid something like three spades here, showing the miners. And then this hand, say, double it. So I, I, I did see this board. So it went something like two no trumps, pass three spades, which shows the miners. Okay. Now you six six in the miners. So you're interested in a slam in the miners here, I think. So three spades, uh, double. I can't remember what happened now. And then this hand bid, say, four spades. And then this hand bid four no trumps at the table I saw. And then, sorry, not four no trumps. He bid five no trumps, okay? Basically saying, pick a minor partner, okay? So it's clear cut that after three spades and then five no trumps, it's pick a minor. So which minor do you pick, okay? So the logic here is that you should pick the weaker minor so rather than bidding six clubs you should actually bid six diamonds now if you do that you get rewarded and the contract makes if you bid six clubs as north then you get the two of diamonds lead and you're off straight away after trick two okay but uh there is logic to picking the worst suit for trumps okay the idea that uh well there's a few ideas uh, that the, the people are roughing in if they rough the other suit, are roughing in with high cards, which would be winners anyway. So that's one logic. Also, the other logic here is that if you've got, say, a three-card uh, diamond suit, you're more likely to have the ace. Um, and let's say, you're supposed to have, let's say you have the singleton club, for instance. So let's say you pick six diamonds. You might have the singleton club. But if you've got the singleton club, you've probably got the diamond to the ace. So if you lead a singleton club, then you win with the club and then draw trumps and you win with the ace of diamonds. And, you know, your partner then, you, you know, you're not getting another rough, okay, because you've won with the ace of diamonds. Um, so that's kind of the logic there. So the table I saw, so, uh, they bid six clubs and went one off. Okay, so here we're going to have lots of six clubs and six diamond contract. He notices quite a lot of, eh, there's about half and half, six clubs. But you could have avoided this six clubs by bidding six diamonds if you got a similar kind of auction. Um, so that's just something to uh, think about. You know, if you can get six diamonds, then, you know, it's a big swing. It's, um, what is it? Six clubs or six diamonds. See if I can find one where. So here we go. Bidding six clubs or six diamonds, 14 imp swing just on that sort of fact alone, as it were. So board 18, dealer east, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, you open a spade. And four, five, six, pass. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, double. Um, some people might. No, nah, they're not going to bid a no trump, I don't think, after they know you've got a five cards. So one spade, double. One no trump by self looks a reasonable contract. Okay, so a few souths have been in one no trump, and it goes one off by the looks of it. Because the queen of spades is unfortunately here. 
is a bit unlucky. Okay. Their only points is the most useful card to have. Dealer South, 7, 14, 15. So 18, too many points for a no trump. So one diamond opener. Pass, pass. Oh, hold on a minute. Four count. You might well be the heart here. I don't know what what um depends on if you're playing a three card suit and things like that. So you might be the heart with a four count. You have a few tens. So yeah, you might be the heart. Some might pass. Some might be opening a one strong club and things like that. So uh will this hand over Carl a spade? And then maybe this hand bids a no trump or something like that. So I think maybe South again might be getting the contract in one no trump. Yeah, we've got a few and some in two no trumps, which has been fine. Most of the time it's made, but occasionally it has gone off. So you want to try and avoid being in two no trumps there and just being one no trump. Depends if they get pushed by the opposition, maybe. Or just overbid. Deal West. Uh, all vulnerable, so I don't think you're going to open three clubs or anything like that with the West Hand. Um, hmm, seven two two two. Are you going to open this three spades? All vulnerable. Oh, I don't like it. Um, I hate this hand. Another thing that some people do is um, with a seven card suit, they sort of open it when when they sort of. Sort of too weak to open it three spades. You kind of open it two spades. So I'm not sure that's a great idea. Um, so not sure what you're going to open with the north hand. Uh, wet east is going to pass, but whatever north does, um, I think south's going to be looking for six spades if north opens something, some, some flavor of spades. So I think you're going to get to, um, Six spades here a lot of the time. Wow, you got a lot of six no trumps. That's interesting. Okay, so obviously protecting the king of diamonds. So, yeah, that makes sense actually. Yeah, protect the six. Protect. So if North has opened something, some some spade holding, then South could of, often bid six no trumps and protect that king of diamonds. So actually, that does make a lot of sense. So that's why we're seeing a lot of six no trump contracts rather than six spades uh, to protect the diamond holding. As it turns out, it doesn't need protecting because partner's got the queen of diamonds. But on another day, if you switch the ace queen of diamonds there, six spades, get a diamond lead, you lose the first two tricks. Whereas if you're in six no trumps, the likelihood is you're going to get seven spades, uh, three hearts, two clubs, and you're going to make 12 tricks off the top. So it makes sense to be in six no trumps rather than six spades from a south perspective to protect that diamond lead. Dealer north, 10, 11. So you could open a diamond and bid two clubs. You've got a rule of 20 opening. Diamond pass, one heart from south. Um... Mm. Now, I saw this hand. How did this go? Yeah, this is an interesting hand. One diamond pass, one heart. One spade, or did it double? Ah, actually, this hand doubled, I remember now. And I was thinking, why double with that such good spade suit? Would I bother even introducing a club suit? Okay, so it went a diamond pass, a heart, and this hand doubled, showing the black suits, at least four, four. Um, I think I'd rather just bid a spade with such good spades and just ignore the club suit personally but they decided to double uh this hand then bid two clubs i think and then this hand bid two spades and then this hand kept on or oh, th th this hand might have uh, passed so after the one heart double i actually think this hand probably passed and then this hand bid a spade and this hand went on did something and this hand Kept on bidding spades, and they finally got to four spades. Um, yeah, so this hand actually got to four hearts, and this hand decided not to double, and West bid four spades. And I was thinking, should East double four, four hearts to stop West bidding four spades? Okay. Um, because 
uh, north has shown diamonds and you've got diamonds behind them and you do have four hearts. And partner's shown a half decent hand with their bidding, it seems. Um, maybe not though. North, south vulnerable, east, west, non vulnerable. So, but it feels like west potentially has a couple of tricks here and you potentially have a couple of tricks. So, should you double four hearts? If you double four hearts, you then stop west bidding four spades. But four hearts could potentially come in. Okay, it kind of depends on the defense and also the declare a play. Um, so here we got a four hearts doubled and it did go one off. But everyone else bidding four spades went off for 100 or 300. So if you doubled four hearts and stopped yourself playing in four spades, that was kind of the winning bridge. Um, four hearts is not made anywhere. Okay, so... That was an interesting board. Caused a lot of chat. Uh, delay. So that's one thing about doubles. Uh, when you when when they're in in game, uh, quite often it can be right to double just to stop your partner bidding on. All right. If you think your partner might well bid on, you can stop them doing that by doubling their contract. Okay. Um, obviously, the danger of that is you pinpoint where that the break is going to be a 4-1 break, whereas if you haven't said anything, they might play it a certain way. Okay, so by doubling, they might then play it a clever way to break the contract, which you might not have uh, played if you'd have just passed. But um, So it's like swings and roundabouts, what do you do sometimes? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, You might open a diamond. I think you might pass as well. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, rule of nineteen. So some might open a heart here. Might get a spade over Carl. Might not. Um, but North's got an opening hand. So uh, I think you're going to play in two clubs or some number of clubs. Could you play in no trumps, maybe? Feels like you should be playing in about three clubs, maybe. Something like that. Four clubs, two clubs. No, ah, someone is in three clubs. <laughs> Making 11. Um, So, difficult. Yeah, so you're in some number of clubs a lot of the time. Some West are in two spades. Dealer South pass. Uh, one club. 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, Dealer South. So you might bid two diamonds after partners passed. Or you might just overcall a diamond. Depends on what, what your two level bids here are. 6, 7, 8, 9. So you might probably go a club, a diamond, a heart. Uh, up a diamond of heart, pass. Club, diamond of heart. Um, a spade. Pass. Club, diamond, heart, spade. Okay. Uh, some number of no trumps. A no trump, three no trumps. So I think we're going to see three no trumps by East a lot of the time. Yep. Okay. Good. Dealer West. Pass. <laughs> Pass. Seven card heart suit. Non vulnerable. Probably going to open three hearts with that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty count. Probably going to just double. Pass. And three spades. Four spades. Four spades by North. And uh looks like, hold on a minute. Why is there suddenly a lot of five hearts here? Four spades is made. There's been a lot of five hearts doubled. Okay, I think West with that hand might well kind of leave it in. I don't know. 
what is it? Non-vulnerable. I think bidding five arts seems a bit risky to me, but um, it seems to be a good bid. One. Depends if you lead a heart. Get off to a heart lead. You cut down these diamond roughs. Um, could lose a lot. I think you lose one, two. You could lose like four diamond tricks potentially. Um, lead off two hearts. No, not not that many. Let's say you lose uh, three diamond tricks, two black cards, five. So it's only two or three hundred. Um, hold on a minute. One, three, four, five, three off. 500, yeah. Probably not a good bid. Non-vulnerable guns, non-vulnerable. I don't think she'd be bidding five hearts. Dealer, north, pass, 11, okay, diamond, a heart, four, five, six, seven, eight, diamond, a heart, 2N, 3N, 3N maybe, by West, doesn't make, because <laughs> um, West is very short in aces. Okay, it looks like you're going to make six diamond tricks and a uh, heart. So you get your seven tricks. Uh, others have managed to stay out of it. That's an interesting one, three diamonds. Okay. This is a sort of hand wave for him. You don't want to be in three no trumps because you're lacking aces when partner's got a long minor. So it's best to sort of go a diamond, two no trumps, and this hand bid three diamonds, and then this hand decide to go to three no trumps. If you've got like a couple of aces, like if you've got ace, ace, queen, and a couple of diamonds to get back in, then that's a sort of great hand for three no trumps. But I think this hand, yeah, rather than bidding three no trumps, I just bid three diamonds and then this then you're warded off going into three no trumps um so some have stayed in like three in, yeah some level of diamonds dealer east four six seven eight eleven grotty pass i'd say pass could open a spade actually Rule of 19 opening. All vulnerable. I don't know, you might not. It's a bit grotty. Wow. <laughs> East West has got a big 6 5 in the reds. Uh, you've actually got like 10 tricks. So, five diamonds looks like the contract. How the hell do you get that? It kind of depends if South opens one spade. If he goes one spade, Probably with two hearts. Sorry, two spades to show five five at least. And then north might be four spades. And then uh I don't know, pass. And then West will probably carry on bidding and bid five diamonds. And you might just leave it in five diamonds. Who knows? So there's been a few six diamonds, there's been five diamonds. Yeah, a few six diamonds. Quite a lot of six diamonds. Uh, maybe north bids five spades now, and maybe they just bid six diamonds. And then you've got to find a club lead. Depends on how the bidding going. A club lead's more realistic after this hand's shown. If it's shown hearts and diamonds, and you're more likely to lead a club rather than a spade. Well, there's a lot of East has played it out in diamonds, and that obviously protects the king of clubs. So six diamonds by East always makes, but six diamonds by West can be going up. So we've got a lot of swings here, 16 imp swings and stuff like that. Interesting board. Uh, board 27, dealer south, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. 
uh, spade, pass, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, no trump, pass, um, two diamonds, two clubs, depends on how what people play here, or pass even, uh, uh, you could well find two hearts, could find two spades, could find a no trump, I, I'm expecting one no trump, two hearts and two spades to be the contracts. And there we have it. Opposition have found two clubs, so <laughs> on one of them. Uh, Dealer West. Pass. Pass. 10, 13, 14, 18. So we open a heart. Pass. A spade. Uh, pass. Um, hmm. You might be three hearts. You've got a four card, three card space for this. These are, these are hands are quite tricky. Um, three no trumps. I think shows something. It could show like six fours. You don't have that. Um, you could even bid something weird like three clubs, or you could bid uh, two no trumps as some kind of bid. <laughs> Depends what you've got in your uh, locker. Has anyone got to four spares? Just count of curiosity. No, <laughs> no one's playing in a four three bit. Okay, so six two. Yeah, you're going to play in that. Um, and uh, does it make a heart lead? You can rough. Uh, hmm. Lose a diamond. Lose a spade. Lose a heart. Lose a So on the Ace of Diamonds lead, switch to a heart, and you lose a diamond, a club. That's an interesting whether four hearts can make here. Four hearts has made. Okay, 29. Deal and half twelve. Actually, just see if there's any three heart bids. Yeah, someone's in three hearts. Deal and half twelve, fourteen, fifteen. I think you're gonna. I, I like an old trump here. The spade suit's garbage. Uh, I'm going to open a no trump. Some might open a spade. Um, pass. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think you're going to get to three no trumps here. Fifteen opposite ten. It should be three no trumps pretty much. Uh, mostly some spade contracts. Three no trumps has made eight tricks. And spades is actually better a lot of the time because there's queen 10 combo and spades breaking 3 3. So you could lose two spades and a heart by the looks of it. So three spades, four spades, <clears throat> bit of a lucky make. Board 30, 5, 6, 10, 13 count, open a diamond, pass. Um, might be two spades here. When you've got seven spades, might be the spade. Um, now, what do you bid here? Do you bid a no trump or do you bid two spades with a, um, with a totally flat hand? Tricky one. I hate these hands. <laughs> um, totally flat, I think I'm more likely to bid a no trump. And then this hand will bid spades, two spades, I think. Um, yeah, you should try and stay out of four spades. Um, yeah, a lot of bid it though. Yeah, someone's found two spades. Well done then. <laughs> someone's made four spades. Um, not sure how you make it. You got three hearts and a diamond to lose. 
Yeah, the defense has gone wrong there. Dealer South. Uh, pass. Six, seven, eight. Pass. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Eighteen count. Open a club. Pass. Diamond, maybe. You might pass. Uh, let's say you bet a diamond. Pass. That's um, two no trumps. And depends what you play here. If you, if you play like um, club relays, you can play like a club, a spade, or something like that. Um, 12, 13. Another thing, actually, about this hand, 12, you could devalue this. I, you know, I'd be tempted to devalue it. 4, 3, 3, 3. No 10s. You do have three aces, which I like, actually. A lot of people hate aces, but I like them. You could just open this a no trump, and then you're just playing in one no trump. But some have got to play in two no trumps, and then some have played in one no trump. And then some have just opened a club and played in that. <laughs> okay, so depends on what you're playing, doesn't it? Okay, board 32, last board of this session. Dealer West. Uh, a diamond. A heart. Uh, double. Dealer East West Vulnerable. Okay. So, diamond, a heart, double to show the four card spade suit. Potentially, um, club, a heart, double, five, six, seven. Or oh, some people play a spade where it, it shows just four spades. Can do. Um, club, diamond, a heart, double, let's say. Pass. Um, two clubs or some number of diamonds. And this one might then sort of bid three no trumps, I guess. Three no trumps by yeast. It's come quite a lot of times. Okay, so that seems reasonable. So that is round eight finished.